Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before on Beautiful Love Forever, aka Tay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I already did my eyebrows and now I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Juvia's Place Concealer in 24 and set it with the ABA Setting Powder in Deep Peach. Next, I'm using the Glam Light Icy Blue Raspberry Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm just going to take that blue shade and put that in my crease. Now I'm using the Morphe James Charles eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take the red shade as well as the white shade and put those both on my lids. Also, I'm really trying to grow my channel, so if you're watching and you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell, and you click all so you'll be alert of all my uploads. I upload a new short every Monday and a new video every Friday. Also, please make sure to click the like button on my shorts and my videos as well. Next, I'm taking that same blue shade that I put in my crease and I'm putting it on the end parts of my eyes. Now I'm using the CoverGirl Get In Line Liquid Eyeliner in Black Vinyl. For lashes, I'm using the Ioni Wispy Dramatic Flare Lashes, and I'm using the House of Lashes Eyelash Glue. Make sure there's no gap showing where I put my lashes. I'm using my Sephora pencil and then I'm also going to use my Essence Waterproof Mascara. Moving on to the face, I'm using the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Next, I'm using the Everyday Humans Rose from Above Mineral Sunscreen.
Now I'm using the NARS Pour and Shine Control Primer. To correct the dark spots on my face and neck, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer Orange Corrector. To keep my face matte and keep it from getting oily, I'm using the Be Pure Blurring Press Powder in medium deep. For foundation, I'm using the Uma by Sharon C Skin Perfecting Foundation in Bronze Venus T5. For some more coverage, I'm using the e.l.f. Camel Concealer and Deep Chestnut, and I'm just putting this in the same places where I put the orange corrector at. To highlight, I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer in 3.5N. I was putting this all the places where the light would naturally hit my face. While that's sitting, I'm using the Juvia's Place Bronzer Palette in Dark. I'm just going to take the top shade to contour my nose and go around my jawline since it's lighter. And I'm using the other shade to bronze the other parts of my face. Now the set where I had the concealer at, I'm using the Huda Beauty setting powder and cinnamon bun and it's the first time me trying it. I really love this powder. It's been out a while and I've been wanting to try it like forever but um, I finally got a chance to try it and I love it. Um, 
it comes in many other shades as well so i think i might eventually get another shade like a lighter shade for a more highlighted look but i definitely love this one and um it works well sets my makeup well so yeah if you're looking for a new powder um, i would definitely give this one a try For my all over face powder, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Powder Foundation in Full 40. Next, I'm using the ABH Aurora Glow Kit Highlighter Palette. As a lip liner, I'm using the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Deep Blue, and I'm using the Juvia's Place Matte Lipstick in Scarlet. Lastly, I set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And that is it for this makeup tutorial. Hope you all enjoyed this Bomb Pop inspired makeup look. I had fun creating it and I just wanted to do something different. Um, so something different from um, like an everyday makeup look or something you know that we, you would wear every day in the summertime. So I just wanted to have fun with the makeup. Like I said, I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the bell and you click all so you'll be alerted of all my uploads. I upload a new short every Monday and a new video every Friday. Also, please make sure you click the like button on my shorts and my videos as well because that really helps my channel. Everything I use will be listed in the description box as well as all my social media handles. And please comment, you know, um, I would love to hear from you all. If you want to see a specific makeup look, please let me know. I appreciate each and every one of you watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Make sure you take care of yourselves. Bye.